Hello students, let's do perimeter and area of plane figures, exercise 25b. Page number 263, question 7. The perimeter of a square field is numerically equal to its area. So perimeter is equal to its area. Find each side of the square. So let each side of the square be x. We have to find that. So we're going to consider the side of the square to be x. And we've been given that the perimeter of the square field is equal to its area. Now what is the formula to find the perimeter? It is 4 into side. Isn't it? 4 into side. And the formula to find area is side square. Side square which is side into side, side into side. Now, so we said let each side of the square be x. So we'll write this as 4 into x. And on this side, side into side will be x into x. So now we have 4 into x is equal to x into x. So let's transpose x from the left hand side to the right hand side. So 4 will remain here. Now x will move to the right. So on the right hand side, we already have x into x. So when I transpose this x to the right hand side, it will become division because here it is multiplication. So I will put that x here. Now let me cancel whatever I can. So I can cancel 1x here and 1x there. So what do I have now? I have x is equal to 4. And x, we said, is the side of the square. So the answer is side of the square is equal to 4. So side of the square is equal to 4 units. And since units are not given, we just write it as 4. So answer to question 7 is 4. Question 8. A rectangular piece of paper has area given to us. Now here area is given to us and length is given to us. We have to find its perimeter. Okay, so let's begin. Area of the rectangular piece of paper is 24 centimeter square. The length of the paper given to us is 5 centimeters. Now we have to find the breadth and the formula is area by length. Because we need uh, length and breadth to find the perimeter. So we're going to find the breadth now. Area by length. Area is 24 centimeter square and length is 5 centimeters. So let's divide 24 by 5. So 24 divided by 5. 5 fours are 20 minus 4, 4. And then I put a point. I carry that point up. Now I can add zeros and make this 40. So 5 eighths are 40 minus 0, 4.8. So the breadth of the paper is 4.8 centimeters. Now that we have the measurement of the length and the breadth, we can find the perimeter. So perimeter is 2 into length plus breadth, which is 2 into the length is 5 centimeters and the breadth is 4.8 centimeters. So we have to multiply this. So 2 into, let's add 5 plus 4.8. So 5 plus 4.8. Now to make these like decimals, I need to put a point and a zero. Now I can do my addition. 8, 5 plus 4 is 9. So here I have 2 into 9.8. So let's multiply 2 into 9.8 or 9.8 into 2. So that will be 98 into 2 when we remove the decimal point. 2 eighths are 16, carry 1. 2 nines are 18 plus 1, 19. 196. But when we go back to the question, there is one decimal place. Our answer also should have one decimal place. So that becomes 19.6. So we have found the perimeter to be 19.6 and the unit is centimeters. So what is our answer? 19.6 centimeters. Question 9. 
find the perimeter of a rectangle whose area has been given and breadth has been given. So let's write down those first. Area of a rectangle is 2600 meter square. The breadth of the rectangle is 50 meters. And we have been asked to find the perimeter. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, we need to know the measurement of the breadth and the length of the rectangle. Now, since we don't have the length, we are going to find that out with the help of a formula, area divided by breadth. So let's do that. 2600 meters square is the area divided by breadth, which is 50 meters. So we need to do this division. Before that, let's cancel. 0 and 0 I can cancel. Now I need to divide 260 by 5. 26, let's take 26. 5 fives are 25 minus, I have 1, I bring down 0, 10. 5 twos are 10. So now I have found the measurement of the length of the rectangle to be 52 meters. Now we have the breadth and the length. We can find the perimeter with the help of this formula, which is 2 into length plus breadth. Length is 52 meters and breadth is 50 meters. So that will be 2 into 52 plus 50. Let's add that up. 52 plus 50. 2, 5 plus 5 is 10, 102. So 2 into 102 meters. So perimeter of the rectangle will be 2 into 102. So let's multiply that and see. 102 into 2. 2 twos are 4, 2 zeros are 0, 2 ones are 2. So this will be 204 meters. So we have found the perimeter to be 204 meters. Question 10. What will happen to the area of a rectangle if both its length and breadth are tripled? That means three times. Okay, so let the length of the rectangle be L. Since we don't have a measurement, we'll consider it to be L. Let the breadth of the rectangle be the small letter B. So the area of the rectangle, the formula is length into breadth. So when we substitute, we get length is L and breadth is B. So this is the area of the rectangle, the original rectangle. The new length is 3 times L. So that is 3L. And the new breadth is 3 times B. So that is 3B. So the new area, the area is, the formula for area is length into breadth. So the new area, when we substitute this, will be 3L into 3 b now when we multiply the numbers we get 9 then into l into b so that means the new area is nine times its length and breadth so the question is what will happen to the area so what happens to the area the new area of the rectangle will be nine times more than the original area Question 11. Length of a rectangle is 30 meters. The breadth is 20 meters. Find the increase in its area if the length is increased by 10 meters and the breadth is doubled. So let's go slowly here. First, let's find out the area of the original rectangle. So length of the rectangle is 30 meters given to us in the question. Breadth of the rectangle is 20 meters again given to us. Area of the rectangle, the formula is length into breadth. So length is 30 meters and breadth is 20 meters. So 30 into 20. Now 3 2s are 6. And then we add the two zeros. Meter square. So the original area is 600 meter square. Now we need to increase the length and double the breadth. So the new length will be, now let's write the original length 30 meters and we ha have to increase it by 10 meters. So 30 meters plus 10 meters will give us 40 meters. So this is the new length of the rectangle. Now the new breadth, 
Now, let me write the original breadth, which is 20 meters. And the question says, the breadth is doubled. That means I have to multiply this by 2. So, 2 twos are 4 and then 0. So, 20 into 2 is 40. So, I have the new length and the new breadth. Both are 40 meters each. Now, let's find the new area using this formula, length into breadth. So, length is 40 meters and breadth is also 40 meters. So, 40 into 40. Let's multiply 4 4s are 16 and then add the 2 zeros meter square. So, here I have the original area which is 600 meters and I have the increased new area which is 1600 meters square. Now, the question is find the increase in area. To find the increase in area, we have to subtract the original area from the new area. So, let's take this. The new area is 1600 meter square. The original area is 600 meter square. So, let's subtract 1600 and 600 from it. Minus 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. 1. So, here the increase in area is 1000 meter square. So, our final answer, the increase in area is 1000 meter square. Question 12. The side of a square field is given to us. Here also we have been asked to find the increase in its area if each of its sides is increased by 4 meters. So, the first step is finding the original area. Side of a square is 16 meters. The area of the square, the formula is side square to find the area which is side into side. This will be 16 meters into 16 meters. So, let's multiply 16 into 16. 6 sixes are 36 carry 3. 6 ones are 6, 7, 8, 9. Second step, 1 six are 6, 1 ones are 1. Now, let's add this up. 6, 9 plus 6 is 15, carry 1, 2. So, here I have 256. 256 meters square is the original area. Okay, now we need to find the second part there. Here we are asked to find the area if the sides are increased. So let's find the new length. The new length will be the original length 16 meters plus 4 because it's increased by 4 meters. So 16 plus 4 is 20 meters. Now let's find the new area. So new area again the formula is side square which is side into side. And side is 20 meters, so 20 meters into 20 meters. So, what is the new area? The new area will be, now let's multiply, two twos are 4 and add the two zeros. So, new area is 400 meter square. So, now we've been asked to find the increase in the area. So, that will be new area minus the original area. So, new area is 400 meters square and the original area is 256 meters square. Now, we need to subtract these two. So, let's do the subtraction here. 400 minus 256. So, let's borrow 3, 10, 9, 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 5 is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, here we've got the increase in area to be 144 meters square. So, this is the increase, 144 meters square. So, we have answered the first part of the question where we've been asked what will be the increase if each side increases by 4 meters. Now, let's go to the second question. What happens if if each of its sides is doubled. So, we've been asked here to find the area when the sides are doubled. 
So side of the square is 16 meters. Length of the side, if it is doubled, okay, so 16 meters into 2, if it is doubled, 16 twos are 32. So this becomes 32 meters. Now the new area of the square we have to find. So that is side square, the formula, which is side into side. This will be 32 meters into 32 meters. So let's multiply 32 into 32. 32 into 32. 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6. Next step, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9. Now let's add this up. 4, 6 plus 6 is 12, carry 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. So we've got the new area to be 1024 meter square. So this is the new area. Now again, we've been asked to find the increase in area. So the increase in area will be the new area minus the original area. So the new area is 1,024 meter square and the original area is 256 meter square. So this is the original area. Now we need to subtract these two to find the increase in area. So let's do that subtraction. 1,024 subtracted by 256. Take away this from the bigger number. Now let's borrow. This is 1. So this becomes 14. 14 minus 6 is 8. Now I need to borrow again. So I go all the way here. So 10. 10 becomes 9. 11 minus 5 is 6. 9 minus 2 is 7. So we've got 768. So this will be 768 meter square. So we have found the increase in area to be 768 meter square. So we'll stop with this for now, children. We will continue the remaining questions in our next video. Thank you, children.